TV at Rock City to interview Frank Turner before his gig tonight with Frank Turner and the Sleeping Souls. So, um, obviously the first you're touring now is a new album, just yeah. to connect to people. Why did you choose the title for that? Um, it just kind of uh, dribbled out of my mouth um, during a late night drunken uh, conversation. <laughs> With, with one of my oldest friends and we were just talking about what it is that I do not even necessarily with just this record and these songs just but generally yeah and um and it came out and and uh and it just felt good you know I mean it's not like I don't really need to analyze it any more than that yeah. it just felt like yeah that's a good title for a record it felt like it, it neatly encapsulated in particular what, where I am right now sort of creatively oh god I can't believe I'm about to say this um it wasn't actually me Strictly speaking, a guy I was at school with had some pornographic magazines and hid them in my locker. Oh, no. And I took them all. <laughs> and obviously, if you're like 12 or 13 or however old I was, it was the most mortifyingly embarrassing thing Did that has ever happened to me. Graph him up. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I got done hard. I mean, I kicked, I kicked him in the balls, but like I didn't. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, but it was, it was, uh, it was so embarrassing having to talk to my mum and dad about that. I died several Did times. Did school tell them first, and then your parents? <clears> told you? Um, yeah, I think. Uh, well, no, I think I, I think the school told me that they were going to tell them, and I sort of decided to preempt. Um, until the age of ten, I wanted to be a paleontologist. I think, mean, uh, as it, which is a fancy way of saying that dinosaurs are fucking cool. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a ten-year-old dream. Yeah. I. I mean, do you know Jeffrey Lewis of the New York Post? Jeffrey Lewis. Yeah. He, he has a great song back when I was the age of four, and I knew the name of every dinosaur. And it's true. I knew. I did. Was one of those kids who read everything about dinosaurs going, and just knew all about dinosaurs. Dinosaur books and stuff. Yeah. And I could. I used to be able to know which kind of periods they all belong to and whether they were carnivores or yeah. That's <laughs> um, but then I got into music, and I've never really wanted to do anything else. Hmm. Oh my god. Um, let's narrow it down, and let's do it. Most awkward thing that's ever happened at a gig. The worst one was when, um, with Million Dead, my old band, I think it was Download 2004, we were playing and um, I was just a singer in that band, didn't have a guitar, and I was doing the Roger Daltrey, spinning the microphone yeah, around yeah, shit, yeah. And, and the thing about that is it's easy to get it out there, you know, on the end of the yeah. table, swing around, the difficult bit is getting it back Stop safely it. <laughs> without hurting yourself or anyone else, and um, I hit myself in the balls in front of 10,000 people. Um, and it was awful. Not least because it was two <laughs> seconds before I was due to start singing again. So I went, oh, and then went down and went, oh, and started to sing. And, it, they, and I spoke to friends in the audience afterwards, and I was like, did people see? And they were like, oh, everybody, everybody saw. knew what happened. <laughs> um, uh, tequila, but sort of like reluctantly. Uh, breakfast. Uh, acoustic, although again, it's difficult to choose. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, I mean, yeah, acoustic. A pub. Uh, email, I, the letters, I just take up too much of my time. Probably full English. I really love a good Sunday roast if it's done well, but if it's done badly, it makes me sad. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And like, I, I full English, I think you can get a really terrible one, and it's almost still good. Yeah. Right. Exactly. You, there's a lot more kind of error, error margin. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, I'm due to be able to say Vans because I know Kevin. Uh, <laughs> That's what we need. Thank Wicked. you so awesome. much. Thank you. Cheers. And good luck for tonight. Thank you very much. There was an attack made on on, on, on our culture and, yeah. and on our, our corner of the world and rock and roll. You know, they specifically said they attacked a rock and roll show. Yeah, exactly. And it felt good to do one. And I know that Nick would have wanted us to do one.